So here's Kills the Flower Moon. Three and a half hours long. You got Leo DiCaprio. Everyone's really raving about this Lily Gladstone. She's the lead in this film along with Leo, it looks like. Um, it earns its runtime. Just going through a few of these things here. It's the Scorsese is the right person to tell the story. Uh, wow, a harrowing story is difficult to watch given the subject matter, but you can't help but marvel at the mastery on the screen. Uh, Matt Naglia, the man who loves likes for tweets. <laughs> the powerful ending took this from solid to excellent. A tragic rumination on greed and power. Matt delving into his New York Times film critic voice there. Uh, Yasmin, A Kills the Flower Moon is an utterly exceptional and more gripping by the every minute and honest after. Okay. I mean, everything's really powerful. There's one review I saw that said it, it's, it doesn't earn the runtime. It's slow. Listen, it's three and a half hours long, so I'm sure that is an issue. Enthralling. Um, Scorsese may have earned the right to tell a movie at three and a half hours. Doesn't make it the right decision. A compelling true crime story told from the... Okay, so there's there's uh, Peter DeBruge saying that it's maybe a little long. David Elric, I don't trust at all. I, I think he's a very average film critic at best. I really do. Um, and, and he's one of the few that he raved about F9. So that's that's why I don't trust that guy ever again. I mean, <laughs> you, can't, you can't rave about F9. You, you just can't. And then ever be taken seriously in, in the history of film. You guys are all going to jump on me and say, Ant-Man, Ant-Man. For those of you who watched Ant-Man this weekend, you know it's not that bad. You watched it. It's not. It's just not. Um, there's another article I'm going to get to. But, but in general, all this stuff is is really good it's like a 98 percent on rotten tomatoes no surprise uh a rich immersive master class that braids together the interests of his past products projects make that uh from total film yeah it's it's all positive listen here's here's the challenge that's going to be okay we need to get rid of the ad there the challenge for apple tv plus and for paramount um is we just had this film debut and it's may so now what you need to do, and you see studios do this very often when films debut at Cannes, and even in Toronto and Venice, when they're going to hit a few months later, you really need the film to pretty much go away. You want those initial reactions to come in, like we're seeing here with Killers of the Flower Moon, that are very high and very positive. Now what you want to do is let the film fade into black let it disappear for a few months no one should be talking about killers of the flower moon in fact if i'm apple i'm not screening this again until september so as much as i'd love to see the film here in la and apple will more than likely invite a lot of us to see it here in the nearish future if i'm apple i'm not showing it to anybody until september why is that because you do not want a film to peak too early when it comes to awards one day they're going to hire me to be not just a studio head but the awards whisper where i tell you this is what you do with the film you're going to do this this and this and the number one thing the number one thing i'm telling apple here tonight is that you want to make this film disappear until i'd say late september i say you do the la premiere in mid to late september bring everyone back on oh yeah that's right kills the flower moon because the last thing you want is for the buzz to die by the time this film comes out in october because what happens during award season you guys know anyone who goes to awardsace.com you follow me throughout the years you guys know that as every week goes on and on as we get closer to the end of 2023 and that deadline of the release at least in new york or la hits by january 1st 2024 those films that come in late often have a great advantage because they're fresh and people are like this is the new fresh hot film so as such you want to keep this film on ice until late september that is my advice for killers of the flower moon for apple and paramount who's partnering in that um, release 